person and the Holy Spirit. The Lord, thank you for, for calling once again, Lord. I'm here to praise you and thank you because you are my Lord, my King, my you are my bring you the great healer, the great father, the great provider. For, for, before I proceed, Lord, you have to carry the book. to God, and in his name, redeem by love, all takes your nature, explore your Jesus, and me. God, the protector of the people. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Answer, O Israel. If the Lord had not been on our side, when our enemies attack us, then they would have swallowed us alive. In their furious anger against us, then the blood would have carried us away. The water would have covered us, the raging torrent would have drawn us. Let us thank the Lord who has not let our enemies destroy us. We have escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This is the word of God. The first reading from the book of Janwan. Janwan. One time. One to five. God is light. Oh, the message that we have heard from his son and anon is this. God is light and there is no darkness at all in him. If they say that we have fellowship with him, yet at the same time life live in the darkness. 
We are lying both in our words and in our actions. But if we live in the light, just as He is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus who sent Philip for us from every sin. If we say that we have no sin, we declare that we deceive ourselves and there is no truth in it. But if we confess our sins, To God we will keep His promise and do what is right. He will forgive us our sins and purify us from all our wrongdoing. If we say that we have not sinned, we make liar out of God and His word is not in us. Christ the Helper I am writing this week to you my children, so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have someone who lives with the Father on our behalf, Jesus Christ. The right news one, the Christ and Christ himself, if the means which our sins are forgiven, and not our sins only, but also the sins of everyone. It's a word of God. The reading from the book of Matthew 13. Matthew 13. The Gospel of the Lord from the book of Matthew. They escaped to Egypt. Egypt. After they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph and said, Herod will be looking for the child in order to kill him. So get up, take the child and his mother and his ship to Egypt and stay there until I tell you to leave. Joseph got up, took the child and his mother and left during the night for Egypt where he stayed until Hero died. He was done to make come to what the Lord had said through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. When Hero realized that the visitors from the east had tricked him, he was furious. He gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its neighborhood who were too old and younger. This was done in accordance with what he had learned from the visitors about the time when the star had appeared. In the way that the prophet Jeremiah had said came true, a sound is heard of Rama in Ham and sound a bitter weeping. Rachel is crying for the children. She refuses to be comforted, and they are dead. The Gospel of the Lord.
I've seen the father. Why didn't you do see it? Show us the father. Do you not believe, believe that I am in the father and the father in me? The word that I have spoken to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not come from me. The father who remains in me does this own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. It might be because of the things I do. I am telling you the truth. Those who believe in me will do what I do. Uh, that is the is hard to understand, but the Holy Spirit will help you. So that understand that uh, it means that uh, the father is me and and me in the father and the father is in me where we will be seen me has been the, seen the father uh, you that believe believe that i am in the father and the father in me that's why the to the holy spirit i have to explain the promise of the holy spirit If you love me, you will obey my commandment. I will ask the Father, and He will give you another helper. Who will stay with you forever? He is the Spirit. Who reveals the truth about God? Uh, my brother and sister, uh, that's why I have to, to share to you that uh, the, the Spirit will reveal the truth about God. When my body was changed into spirit, we have nothing to do because it is the spirit who who take take over you. Uh, the world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But the spirit will change you, and your body was take over. It happened to me that I have no body. Thing. It is the spirit, somewhat like you are, you are air, you are floating in the air, because it is the spirit, the body. I have not seen the, my body. It is the spirit, and I see the soul, the soul, uh, uh, like this, what I have in vision. A chance, I see you in my video. The It is the spirit will work in us as vision, as the spirit will help us. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. That's why I tell you, I say to you that it's hard to understand because oh, not all of us will. Uh, we have experienced this. That's why I share to you that that is my experience as a spiritual visionary because my body was changed into spirit. Because he remains with you and is in with you. Uh, Brother, thank you. Uh, that um, the Lord um, maybe time come you understand it i want to worship you song I sing I want to worship you in every prayer I bring I want to worship you to you alone I claim I want to worship you worship you Lord I want to worship you All the place I rest I want to worship you All the hand I rest I want to worship you The angel of 
I want to worship you. You know it is all I want to worship you. To magnify your love, I want to worship you. God will keep you from me. 